Hi everyone and welcome. Today I'm going to take you through the note values and types that are most common in music. We'll begin today with the whole note. The whole note generally takes up a whole measure. So usually in music we say that the whole note gets four counts. In order for you to start remembering these things, I would draw these symbols along with this video. So pause, get a piece of paper and a pencil and draw a whole note. Next, we're gonna take our whole note and we're gonna cut it in half. This is what a half note looks like. In general, half notes are usually worth two beats in music. So to compare the whole note to the half note would sound like this. A whole note, if you're singing it, might go ah, for four counts. The half note, if you're singing it, would be two counts. Ah, ah, ah. That's whole and half notes. In addition to making sounds on whole and half notes, so sounds for four beats and so sounds for two beats, we sometimes need to rest for that same length of time. In order to draw a rest that is a half rest, you just draw something that kind of looks like a hat. Looks like this. Um, I like to say that the word hat sounds like the word half, and that's how we can remember that this rest right here is a half rest or a two beat rest. Over here for a whole rest, we draw basically the same thing, it's just flipped upside down. So it kind of looks like a little hole, like if you were walking along, you could fall right into that hole. So we can remember that the whole rest looks like this and the half rest looks like that. Of course, sometimes we only have notes that last for one beat. Those notes are called quarter notes because in general, they take up a quarter or a fourth of the measure. A quarter note is your most common note. It looks like this. So take a moment to draw a quarter note. If a quarter note is worth one beat, then you could probably guess that a quarter rest would also be a one beat type of thing. So a quarter rest looks like this, and it is also worth one beat. If I was singing this, it might sound like, ah, ah, just one beat. And to draw your quarter rest, you draw a Z attached to a C. If you're in treble choir this year, that's all the information that you will need for now, so you can go and take your rhythm values quiz for level one. Good work. If you are in senior high chorus or concert choir, let's keep going to levels two and three. For your level two quiz, you're going to need to know that a quarter note is worth one beat. It could look like this, this, or that's a quarter rest, which is silent. A half note is two beats. It could look like this or this. This is the half rest, which is two beats of silence. And we know our whole note is four beats, looks like this whole rest looks like that, that is a rest for four beats. Now some of you might be wondering, what about three? In order to create a note that's worth three beats, we have to draw a dotted half note, which looks like this. There's a half note with a little dot right next to it. Take a second to draw it. If we flip it upside down, it's the same thing, just like if I flipped you upside down, you'd be the same person. Looks like this, and a dotted half rest although not super common, looks like that. Of course, we can't flip the dotted half rest upside down because that would turn it into a whole rest. And now moving on to level three for my concert choir singers. You might be thinking, what if we have a note that's shorter than one beat? Well, first we divide these notes into eighth notes. Eighth notes look something like this. They have a little flag, which is distinct. You can also flip them upside down, which looks like this. And the eighth rest looks like this. Eighth notes are generally worth half of a beat. Now this is not always true, but for our purposes right now, we're gonna say eighth notes are worth half of a beat. Now what if you need to go even faster than half of a beat? Well, there's something called 16th notes, and they look almost exactly like eighth notes. The only difference being that we add an additional flag onto the top of the 16th note. So take a moment to draw them for yourself. They look like this. And our 16th note rest looks exactly like the 8th rest, but with an additional flag. Now, if you're a math person, you can probably figure out we're going from 4 to 2 to 1 to half. And if you half a half, think about that. If you half a piece of pizza, if you have half of a pizza, and then you cut that half of a pizza in half, all of a sudden you have a quarter of a beat. In other words, 4 16th notes fit into one beat four sixteenth notes fit into one quarter note. Now you should be able to complete levels one, two, and three of the note values and types quiz. Best of luck.